Border crossings have come down pretty significantly over the past couple of months after the administration's asylum restrictions went into effect. Is your state still at capacity or over capacity, or has the situation improved? You know, I'm glad you point that out, Nancy, because border crossings are actually below 2019 levels. Border crossings have come down as a result of President Biden's executive action. What I have said and experienced as a governor in Massachusetts, and I talked to colleagues around the country, this is the problem of Congress. Now, remember, months ago, we actually had a bipartisan deal on the table, negotiated by Democrats and Republicans. It would have solved the border crisis. It would have put more agents down there. And as a former attorney general, I know the importance of securing the border, as does Kamala Harris. She's been very, very clear about that, to stop the trafficking of drugs and guns and human beings, okay? Remember what happened? Donald Trump killed that deal and said he did not want a deal on the border. So the fault is Donald Trump right now when it comes to the border and what has happened. And the one thing that Kamala Harris was clear about last week, among other things, is that she would not only push for bringing back that bipartisan bill, she would fight for it and she would sign it into law as president. That's what states like Massachusetts need. But if you think that this policy is working, do you wish that the administration would have put it into effect a lot sooner, back when you and other Democratic governors first started sounding the alarm bells? No, I think the administration has handled this as best it could. Uh, remember, you know, it's, it's Congress that needs to act and has needed to act on this, both to give us the resources, the funding, and the res for, our, for our states who are dealing with this, but also for agents uh, down on the border to stop the flow of fentanyl, to stop unlawful uh, immigration into, into America. So really the fault is with Congress. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, Congress didn't act, and they didn't act because too many Republicans were kowtowing to Donald Trump. And, you know, that's why President Biden took the action that he did. I'm glad. And, you know, I know it's so important in this election to elect Kamala Harris so we can deal with the border once and for all. Governor Healy, one more quick question before I let you go. You're the former state attorney general, and your name has been floated as a possible U.S. attorney general if Vice President Harris is elected. Is that a job that you'd be interested in? I love being governor of this state. I love what we've been able to do, free community college, better access to health care, making sure that uh, we do things to, to move forward economically. I'm a pro-growth Democrat, as is Kamala Harris. We just cut taxes here in the state, which is also something that Kamala Harris wants to do, cut taxes for the middle class. Donald Trump only wants to raise taxes for the ultra wealthy. So I'm focused, Nancy, on doing everything I can to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walz in November. It will be good, not just for Massachusetts, it will be good for America. Governor Maura Healy of Massachusetts, thanks so much for joining us this morning.